most successful teams won't just have one leader. By by name, they may have the captain or the coach. But I, I just I just I can't recall any team just having one leader. So what specific um, physical and mental skills would you say are necessary to thrive as a rugby player? Um, well, I, I've, uh, and only recently because I've had pl plenty of time to analyse myself now compared to where I played rugby. And funnily enough, I did this via talking to a really good friend of mine. Um, and what has become apparent from the comparisons of my life now to back playing rugby was my attitude towards being the small guy um, and not necessarily being the underdog. I don't, I don't necessarily mean that, but um, in a world of sport of rugby full of giants, you know, I was by far the smallest guy in the team and and yet I had to plan and strategize and implement and deliver um, my sort of skills and my mental skills as well as my physical skills in a world where everybody in theory was able to um, squash me physically, I guess. Um, and, and so I was subconsciously from a very, very early age, um, I was thinking up ways of being innovative and creative so that I could use my skills and my, um, the areas of my game where I might not be able to be comparable to others. So my size or, or, or my, my speed or my strength. Um, and how can I use my other skills to complement what I've got, but also to better myself against the opposition. So, and why I use that example is that, I mean, that's pretty much what I do, what, what I do now. The businesses that I work with are often um, smaller, uh, but much more agile and bespoke and innovative businesses that when we go to our clients who are huge, um, yeah, Amazons and Barclays and Amex and you know, global businesses, they might think, who's, you know, who are these, who are these little squirts here? I mean, they're, they're, they're tiny fish and yet they're attracted by the skills that maybe are mirrored to when I was playing rugby. So the coaches would look at me and think, well, actually we don't mind. I'm not, I'm not so much worried about his, his size or his strength or his speed. Um, but I know that he can read the game brilliantly well. He can communicate to the referees. He's really good under pressure, makes all the right decisions. Um, he's working on his strength, what he doesn't know he wants to, wants to learn. You know, all those types of characteristics I, I sort of tend to implement into the teams that I work with now. And I, I guess I've sort of, found that out by default because when you're playing sport you're just running by the seat of your pants why is teamwork important and um what do you think constitutes a successful team um well uh, that's quite a broad question there um i mean team if, you, if you're in a team you by definition you have to have teamwork um you know, you've got to have talented individuals within that team but if they are purely working as individuals and they have an individual mindset then you will be successful to a degree but you're never going to knock it out of the park you're never going to be the best um striking that balance of having individual talent but all of those individuals understanding what is important for the team and how the team dynamics work is what creates success. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, um, you know, you've got to have culture, dedication, 
communicate. I mean, the list is long, 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 long of different characteristics of being within a team. But fundamentally, there is the, the how whether, whether it's a team of two or a team of twenty, you, you've got to have a load of individuals who are uh, committed to the agreed culture and characteristics of the team. So, what qualities do you think make a good leader? Yeah, but I, I, I'm, you're right to a degree. I, I, I'm, I'm more along the lines of it, within it, pretty much everybody within the team has some kind of leadership role. It might not be. It might not be an obvious beating, beating your chest and leading the troops or being the CEO, but. It, you know, by nature, the definition of a team is no matter how good you are, you are reliant on someone else in your team. Therefore, that person is showing leadership in a certain area. And once that is understood and accepted, that there are specialisms within that team and they're, they're, therefore there are responsibilities and accountabilities within that team, you create lots of sort of sub teams within the teams that get looked after um, by lots of leaders. I think most, most successful teams won't just have one leader. By, by name, they may have the captain or the coach, but I, I, just, I just, I can't recall any team just having one leader and everyone else is following. I just, it just doesn't happen. Um, not not in not in elite performance it needs multiple leadership what what does diversity and inclusion mean to you and why is that important uh yeah I, you know what i was um i was talking to my two boys who were six and eight last night we were watching the crown i don't know why my boys are into the crown at six and eight um but they are uh and there was there was a uh, episode about the apartheid in the 80s in South Africa and and you know they're asking a lot of very very complex they don't know they're complex questions but by saying what's happening there daddy when the white police are attacking um, you know black South Africans that is not an easy answer answer to give your six or eight year old son um, and what makes it even more difficult is that, and I, I'm very proud of this, is that they don't get it because it's so normal to them. It's like, well, in my, in my class, what are you talking about? There's, there's Johnny and Billy and Sarah, they're, they're all, they're all black. Well, they're not different to me or there's, Sarah and Mary and Jane, they're, they're in the same class. We eat the same food. We go to the same school. You know, it's like that's, and that it, it's, it was so difficult to explain to them how it, it can be or how it used to be using that example back in, in the 80s. Um, I, I, I'm, I've always, always uh, tried to normalize. Um, diversity and inclusion with with my children um, regarding everything um, mainly because the people and friends that I have spoken to who are LGBT or um, black um, or disabled it, it's about education yeah, that is that is absolutely what they drill to me the whole time it's about education. You need to educate yourself con consistently and you need to educate your kids about it and then you're doing your bit. And so, you know, I'm, wh whether that's at work or at home, um, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm male, pale and stale here. So I'm not in a position to be preaching in any way, but what I can do is educate my kids, educate my friends, 
and and bring those people that I can have those harder conversations to bring them into line if if I feel that they overstep it um because it, it it's I, I've just I never feel that I've had that view that anybody is ever different but then once you once I've been I've immersed myself in amongst people that may well be classed as um, diverse uh, or needed to be included then all of a sudden I've understood the inclinations the text messages the you know the moments the the words that you use or that that actually think no I, no I, I do need to change change my tune I need to educate myself as well as I need to educate others so I I, I, I sort of focus on that very independently and um, I'm still very nervous I get really nervous about it and, and again the friends that I mentioned there sort of beat me up about it because you that so say some of my 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 friend my bane friends are like don't be nervous just get on with it but you know stay educated uh, and ask questions don't be afraid of asking questions um but uh, you know I, i'm i think that that's uh that's what where that i would love i would love to be in where my boys are right now where there is just such a a beautiful um even keeled view on the people that they talk to and play with and hang out and uh and yeah spend time with i, I think it's wonderful <laughs>